Oh, the old twisted, stuck, and fully extended seatbelt conundrum. It can make you feel like you're stuck in an escape room puzzle, can't it? First off, yes, it is indeed possible to fix it. But how you approach it is the difference between a quick fix and a long battle. A seatbelt typically gets twisted and stuck because the internal coil mechanism gets jammed up due to the twist. It's highly frustrating and can happen to anyone, especially during those rushed moments when you're just trying to buckle up and go. Now to the how part. Step one is to attempt to retract the seatbelt fully. I mean, get it to roll back into the holder as much as it allows. If it's stuck because it's fully extended, you want to help it retract a little to take the pressure off the mechanism. Sometimes a little gentle persuasion is all it takes. However, if it's as stubborn as a mule, move to step two. Locate where the belt is twisted. It could be at the buckle end or near the top where the belt loops back into the frame. You'll often find it's twisted at one end and folded on itself. Now, pretend you're a surgeon and be as gentle and precise as possible. Use your fingers to untwist the belt, following the natural bend of the fabric to help guide it back to its original state. If that doesn't work, grab some tools. Pliers or a flathead screwdriver can be your best friend here. You can use these to feed the twist back through the buckle or loop faster than with your hands alone. If all else fails, your last resort is disassembling the mechanism cover. But beware, this might void your warranty or lease agreement. Plus, if you don't know what you're doing, you might end up invoking the wrath of airbag sensors or other important safety components. If it comes to this, consider seeking professional help. It's like going to the doctor. The internet can only tell you so much before you need a guy in a lab coat or a mechanic's jumpsuit. Remember, safety should be your top priority. A seatbelt is quite literally a life-saving device. If you're not 100% sure about your DIY fix, don't gamble. Get a professional to take a look. It's a short ride to the auto shop, even from my neck of the woods in Portland, Oregon. And next time, maybe just a pinch more patience when you're buckling up can prevent this whole escapade. That's what I try to do, and it gives me one less thing to twist out of shape over. Stay safe out there!